For a Mansfield police officer is taking it one day at a time, recovering from a crash one month ago. That crash also killed a Mansfield firefighter doing a ride along. Michael Hoffman is live outside of the police department with an update on officer Shane Bryson's recovery. Michael. Well, Lee, Officer Shane Bryson, along with firefighter Justin Sanders, were in the middle of a ride along pulled way off of Highway 60 in a police cruiser when an accused drunk driver veered off the road and slammed into them, killing Sanders and seriously injuring Officer Bryson. Now, we spoke with the Manfield Police about the recovery process, both physical and emotional. One person's actions changed the lives of hundreds of people, of a whole community in Mansfield. This is Officer Shane Bryson. He's on the road to recovery after a crash. His chief, Tim Stewart, spoke to us on his behalf. He says he got the call around 1 a.m. on April 1st, saying one of his officers had been struck by a drunk driver. I knew going to the call that there was at least one person deceased. I did not know who that was. Um, and then, uh, I mean, so going there, it was very... Uh, very panic mode. I mean, uh, very extremely worried for my officer and, and whoever else was involved. The other man involved, firefighter EMT Justin Sanders, seen here at his memorial, died at the scene, and much like Officer Bryson, was known and loved by many in Mansfield. I'll, I'll guarantee it that you wouldn't find a whole lot of people in Mansfield that didn't know uh, Justin Sanders or Officer Bryson. Um, you know, uh, that one person's actions uh, changed a whole community, you know, or affected a whole community. Um, and uh, just a bad decision. Bryson is currently confined to a wheelchair. and He's recovering from a broken pelvis sustained in the crash, keeping him off his feet for weeks, bordering on months. You know, uh, probably last we heard, I think it was eight weeks before he could put weight on it, and that was uh, right after the surgery. And then past that point, we just got to kind of see what it's like after that. Chief Stewart says it's crucial that they honor Sanders' memory. We're, we're extremely heartbroken over the loss of our friend, and uh, uh, but there again, uh, you know, uh, that friend was such a good friend that we know that he would want us to continue on and uh, do what we need to do as a department, and uh, uh, you know, we'll just try to honor him. Now that driver, Cody Skaggs, is charged with two counts of DUI, one of which resulting in a death and the other resulting in the serious injury of a law enforcement officer. Now he is set to be in court on Friday. Reporting live in Mansfield, I'm Michael Hoffman. Back to you.